Welcome to your EHC TV sports interview, also heard on WEHC. If you're listening on WEHC now, you're in halftime of the ENH Randolph Macon game. We'll get back to that game in a minute, but first, your interview. My interviewee today is Coach Stephen Kenner, the new ENH head women's basketball coach. Kenner coached at UNC Pembroke, USC Upstate, and Oconee County High School in Georgia. Coach Kenner, it's great to have you on the show today. Well, thanks for having me. We mentioned your previous experience uh, just there. Uh, what do you think, how do you think that helps you coming in and having coached on the high school level as well as uh, two different collegiate levels? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Dr. Reichert and, and Bob Johnson and everybody on the search committee for giving me this opportunity. Uh, those previous experiences have really helped me because I've been more of the, I guess, the head coach right-hand man at that time. And so during those times, uh, even though I did not have the title of being the head coach, I was able to do a lot of the roles or be responsible for a lot of those roles that a head coach kind of uh, assumes along with implementing different defensive and offensive plays. So so you know the X's and O's pretty well by now. Uh, somewhat. You never stop learning. Yeah. You never stop learning. What does it feel like coming into a situation where uh, Coach Scruggs obviously has been here a very long time, been incumbent for 28 years, and you know what kind of transition is that coming in as a coach to uh, start a program over, you know, uh, after she's been here 28 years? Well, you know, it's, it's always hard to follow a legend. And uh, so we're going to try to come in and just kind of do things a little differently around here, try to build a program where it's more uh, responsibility, changing the atmosphere, having a lot more fun, trying to get into a more fast-paced offense, uh, and just trying to let the girls get out and just play. You know, I don't want to hold them back. I want them to use their athleticism and, and kind of uh, at the same time you want to kind of keep a little hold on them so that they don't stray too far away but at the same time they're still running your system. So uh, the opportunity is, is going to be fantastic. I know everybody's excited, we're excited, and we're just ready to tip the ball off. Well you've got some players that have gotten a lot of experience behind them as uh, most of the seniors on this team were starting as freshmen. Uh, what do you think that, what kind of uh, unique experience is that for you coming into a job having that much experience uh, on the floor? Well, they bring a lot of leadership right off the bat. They're a great group of girls. Uh, they've been in the system for a long period of time, as you said. And uh, so they're kind of able to reach out and touch the younger ones and kind of help develop them and understand what coach is looking for. Uh, I wish I could have them again next year uh, just because it's a new system and uh, it's going to be a little difficult from the transition, but so far they bought into what I've been preaching, and uh, they've been, like I said, been leading by good example for the rest of them. And after you get that uh, one year under your belt, things really start to mesh too. So that I'm is. sure you'd like to have them back next year. Oh, definitely. Unfortunately, definitely. unfortunately you can't. But what do you think? You you said you're good with the X's and O's. You, you keep learning, but uh, what do you think you bring that's unique as a coach? Well. My personality, I think, kind of sets the tone from everybody else. Uh, even though I've always believed in hard work, at the same time, I know how to have fun. I know how to get out and relate to the girls. Uh, I have a teaching background. So in order to be successful, I think, one, you have to be able to relate to your kids and relate to your recruits to get that meaning across. And, uh, and the second part of that is being a good teacher. You know, everybody doesn't learn the same way. So you got to be able to spend a little time here with this person after practice to kind of make sure that they understand what's going on. Uh, while at the same time, you're teaching to the whole. So it's kind of a whole part, whole type situation. What do you like about uh, the team that you have right now? What are the strengths and uh, what are the weaknesses ultimately right now? You bring up a good point because obviously I haven't seen them yet. We don't start practice just yet. Uh, October 15th is our first go around and. Uh, just by watching them play, uh, I think the senior leadership, once again, is very strong. You know, we bring back two of our leading scorers in Sarah Petty and, and, and Alex Lyons. And uh, we're going to try to build a team around them. And hopefully we can get some younger ones to kind of help out and uh, play their role as well. Uh, well, you mentioned your system is going to be predicated on athleticism and you're going to try to get them out and running more. So is that the kind of player that you want to recruit, somebody who can run the floor? We want to be able to get out and recruit uh, players who are athletic, 
people who are definitely have a good background in, in education and academics because ultimately that's what we're here for. Um, and I'll feel uh, discouraged if my girls end up winning rings and not getting their degrees. Uh, so, you know, all that plays a part when it comes to recruiting. Uh, I also have been pushing that, hey, I want my girls to get master's degree because I felt like the reason why I have this job is because of my master's. And you have to find, uh, you have to be able to separate yourself from other people. You know, what's going to make you more marketable later on in life? And that's another thing that we're preaching. You know, hey, being in the classroom, you're not just a athlete, but you're a student athlete. So uh, to answer your question, when it comes to recruiting, we're across the board. Athleticism, academics, the whole nine, uh, basketball IQ, people who are willing and, and eager to uh, become better. Mm-hmm. With that in mind, the academics in mind, uh, is that one of the great selling points of Emory and Henry? Or, or it is. It's right off the bat. It is. You know, uh, we have a great tradition here at Emory and Henry, and the second part of that in selling this program is the people here on campus. You know, uh, we try to bring a lot of our recruits here for home football games, where we tailgate, they get a chance to hang out with our girls and uh, get a chance to see the campus while being a part of the, the atmosphere and the culture here at Emory and Henry. I think this is a great place. The people here are awesome. And uh, so we want to keep bringing more kids like that in here. So, What are your goals? Uh, I know you mentioned the type of players you want to get and uh, the type of program you want to run. But what, what are your goals for this team uh, this year and beyond? This year? Uh, that's such a tough and loaded question. We try to we want to get 1% better each day. That's the bottom line. We want to be able to get out and compete and, uh, and bring that passion on the floor day in, day out. Win in and take care of itself if we do that. You know, if we can execute, and I told them, hey, let's, you know, let's not settle for great. I mean, not settle for good, but let's try to become great. And uh, everything else will just take care of itself. So. Anything else you want to say before you go? Uh, let's go Wasps. Go Wasps. Let's, let's go get them. Can't wait. Practice starts for the Wasps on October 15th. Make sure and come out and support the women's basketball team this year. Now it's time for your rant. Let's go to Darren Vaught and see what he thinks about mixed martial arts.